All right, everyone, welcome to this episode of Ghost Discoverers. Today, we're going to be going across the United States to be exploring haunted locations, and we're going to find evidence of ghosts with using our amazing tools to gather undeniable proof that the paranormal exists. So today, join us in our hunt for ghosts. Oh, it's foggy out. That's cool. I think I think other relics just died. Look at her webcam. What? I think her oh. internet just died. This is so sad. Oh, yeah, she left. <laughs> her internet died. <laughs> As you can see here, we haven't even entered the house yet, but the ghost is already showing us its powers. <laughs> the last thing she said was, "Can you hear me eating this grape?" <laughs> and then she just died. <laughs> Well, we, uh, we kind of looked through- Oh! Bone! 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 Huh? Well, we, uh, the last thing you said was, uh... Bone, bone. I, can crap. you hear me eating this grape? And then you left. Whoa. He's right here. He's in this room right here. The lights were He was flashing. standing right there in that corner. Oh, that bottle just rolled! This bottle's rolling! What? Uh, get, get a picture, get a picture. I don't have a camera, I don't have a camera! If you watch closely, you can see a bottle rolling across the floor. Oh, that bottle just rolled. This bottle's rolling. What? Uh, get, get a picture, get a picture. I don't have a camera, I don't have a camera. I don't have a camera, I don't have a camera. Could this be a sign that the ghost is trying to communicate with us? Or is the ghost just really messy? Do you have EMF? EMF 5, EMF 5, EMF 5. Oh! oh, that bottle over there. That bottle over there as well. Oh my God. We are getting a lot of activity over here. Hang on, hang on. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Oh, Holy sh! My yeah, let's God. get out of there. After seeing a lot of paranormal activity, we decided to leave the house and let the ghost have its own personal space. All right, we need to get some photos. We need a lot of things here. I'm right, going back in. I almost don't want to go back in. I'm gonna do a quick uh, spirit box session here. If you're here, answer me. Speak into this box that I have in my hand. Who are you? Where are you? Are you friendly? What is your name? Would you like us to leave? I'm not getting anything on the spirit box. After not getting anything on the spirit box, we decided to take our investigation to the upstairs floor. I forgot the spirit box downstairs. Okay. Hang on, I'm gonna grab that real fast. Whoa! Did you hear that? Okay. Hang on, I'm gonna grab that real fast. Whoa! As I am walking back to the downstairs floor, we hear a strange banging sound and then a ghostly voice. Could this perhaps be the ghost trying to communicate with us once again? Okay. Hang on, I'm gonna grab that real fast. Whoa. Whoa. I heard that. Oh, whoa, 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 freezing temperatures up here? The freezing breath, rather. Hang on, I'm gonna do- I'm gonna yeah. do a spirit box session up here. We do another Where spirit box session, but we get absolutely nothing. However, as we're doing the spirit box session, we see something absolutely bone-chilling. DOTS! Oh. Using our DOTS projector device, we were able to see the faint outline of the ghost as it passed right by us in the hallway. Dots! Oh. Dots! Dots, dots! Whoa. Okay, so it is definitely upstairs. 
Still EMF 5 on the stairwell. Whoa, whoa, whoa! By now, we have witnessed a lot of paranormal activity in this location. This just adds to that list. Not only did the ghost turn on the lamp on the desk, but it also turned on the fan. Could it be that the ghost was trying to cool itself down? And if you look in my hands, you will see that my EMF reader is reading level 5, indicating a strong ghostly presence. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah, uh, come upstairs, upstairs, upstairs! It just turned on- it's turning on the light and the fan up here! Can you write in this book, please? We are seeing a lot of activity right now. I I've never seen it this active. I know. This is crazy. Oh, hang on. I've not been getting my evidence written down. Okay, so we have EMF 5 dots. Oh, it's freezing. It's freezing. Freezing? It's an Oni. As you briefly heard there, all of our electronics started to act up as the ghost physically manifested itself. I must warn you, what happens next is disturbing. Oh, please, 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 please! On our second night, we head back to the same location to continue our investigation. Oh, I, I, on me, on me, on me, on me. No, I'm in the, I'm in what? the 4 I'm in, I'm right here. What? In here? EMF, 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 EMF. Right here, right here. EMF, EMF, right here. Really? I'm not kidding. Bottle rolling, bottle rolling. Oh, what the fuck? Already, we witness a can rolling on the ground. Right here, we found a so-called cursed possession in the form of a mirror. This mirror would allow us to see what the ghost saw. Using this mirror, we figured out where it was. Uh, kitchen. It's in the kitchen? Was this ghost hungry? Yeah, I got freezing breath. Where is the Probably dead. Are you alive? Yeah. Oh, we lost one. Yeah, I've watched other helix. Oh, it's right there! Get a photo! Get a photo! If you look closely, you can see a clear apparition standing in front of me. Where, where, where? It was right, it was right here. It was standing right here. I saw it. Oh, mother Oh my god. It was just a ghost event. I just saw it was clear too. Okay. Are you close? Okay. Alright guys, so as you can see, the last few investigations haven't really gone so well, 
but we're going to try our best to try and see if we can identify the ghost within this haunted location. So anyways, let's get right into it, guys. All right, so beginning the hunt. So apparently there's a cursed object somewhere. Oh, right here. The music box. You know, I swear, every time I do this map, it's always up in the attic. True, true. Oh. As we were walking to the attic, we heard the sound of a door opening nearby. Oh. Oh. Was this the ghost trying to tell us where it was? Oh. Oh, yeah, it's up in the attic. <laughs> no. Or, no. Right here, right here, right here! I just touched this door! Oh. Oh, do you have UV at all? No. Check the thermometer. It's slowly dipping down. Like, it's below 5 now. 5 degrees Celsius. In my hand is a special microphone that will allow me to hear the ghost speak to me. Can you speak into this microphone, please? Whoa, whoa! Can you speak into this microphone, please? Whoa, whoa! Can you speak into this microphone, please? Whoa, whoa! It just spoke to me in the microphone, dude! It whispered in my ear. Yeah, I think we're getting freezing temps in here. I don't think oh, it's- Oh, it's writing uh... in the book! It's writing in the book! As I was about to set up a microphone in the room, a paranormal entity began scribbling in our notebook. I don't think oh, it's- Oh, it's writing uh... in the book! It's writing in the book! I don't think oh, it's- Oh, it's writing uh... in the book! It's writing in the book! What we ended up getting was something like this. It's scribbled in the book. Wait, no UV. So it's a it's a shade. It's a shade. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, we can leave if you want. <laughs> yeah, we can leave if you want. Uh, well, we gotta get a, a we gotta witness this ghost. I want to see it. So uh, I think there's like, I think there's like uh, one thing we can do to get this ghost to hunt, probably. If the ghost, if we're nearby the ghost, it's less likely to hunt. So we have to. Uh, be on the other side of the house. Well, there is one way we can get it to hunt. So apparently there's a cursed object somewhere. Oh, right here. The music box. Oh yeah, cursed object. Get uh, you operate smudge sticks, I'll get the photo. Alright guys, so what we're about to do is extremely dangerous. So... You ready? Alrighty. Place it down whenever. Let oh, I don't have it. Oh, what? Oh. Alright, here we go. You can hear it. Oh. There it is. Yeah. 